Music is just about my whole life for me. Um, it's what I use as an emotional release. Uh, if I've had a long day, I'll sit down at the piano and, and play. Uh, it's my profession, obviously. It's also the way that I communicate spiritually. It's something that just allows me to be expressive and to truly show who I am because I'm not the most vocal person, but you know, there's so much that I have to say that I say in my music. Music is my getaway. If I'm dealing with something and I'm going through so much pain, I just go to music. Like I lost my little brother and I could have easily did something, but I went straight to music. It's also a way to connect with people and that's the really cool thing about music, right? I, I can remember a concert that I went uh, to that was at the Raccoon Motel, and I was listening to the artist, didn't know anything about him, and I and I heard his voice, and it sounded like an angel was speaking to me, right? So I have these very intimate experiences with music, especially live music, where it, it does feel very personal and it feeds my soul. We all know what music can do for us personally. We, Everyone has had a special moment in their life that was accompanied by music, or maybe even created because of music. Uh, that's true for kids, too. Um, a lot of us can remember the first song we listened to on the radio. Uh, we all learned our ABCs to a melody. Um, in fact, music is one of the best ways to learn. Neuroscientists tell us that, that music binds us together chemically, that it isn't just we enjoy doing this and we enjoy doing it with others, but then when we are singing together, when we are making music together, we are actually producing the kinds of brain chemicals that bind us together with other people. So people tell me all the time when they find out I'm a musician, oh, I sang in high school choir, or oh, I played in band. And even if it's been 20 or 30 years, they have these amazing memories and this immediate sense of connection, almost a familial connection with the people they made that music with. And it is the same brain chemicals that you release with your parents that you have with the people in your family when you have made music with people. And I think we don't do enough of that uh, <laughs> in the world. That kind of, of connection with other people is really so central. I can sing a, an entire song in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, but there are some songs that are Latin music that I'm like, this moves me, right? Um, so when I think about music in that way, I think about how it bridges um, cultures together because it is something that we all experience. Name a culture that doesn't have some aspect of mu music in it that is personal to them, uh, but can be embraced by other people. It is the universal language. Music is the universal language. Daniel Levitin is a an author on this subject, and he actually talks about societies forming around this, that when we were first moving into cities and uh, living in groups, uh, that music played a key role in helping people bond with each other and helping people feel connected in that society. I, I love music. I love having uh, the, the different venues and the and the festivals and, and all the different ways we can listen to music and all the types of music that we can listen to. We hear a lot from visitors and recent transplants to the Quad Cities, they can't believe how much music is happening here. Uh, and a lot of it happens under the radar. Uh, if you grew up here, there's sometimes a grass is always greener kind of attitude about other communities that not a lot is going on in Quad Cities. But we have to be really proud of how much is going on here. Um, and, and it's really a wide variety of things. You can go to small little coffee shop style venues with 20 people and have the best musical experience of your life. You can go to a 10,000 seat amphitheater and see a huge rock show and everything in between pretty much any night of the week. In the summer, you can even see pretty much a show every night of the week for free. Um, and not a lot of communities have that kind of strength of a music scene. It's something we have to be proud of, and it's something we have to brag about, too. Now, the, this music community is so broad that there is something for everyone. No matter what you want, no matter what you like, you can find a place to go listen to it, and that's pretty cool. Our music scene and that braggability factor for us is something that, uh, that we love, and I think We've got to we've got to embrace that as quad citizens, and we got to jump on the roof 
um, as much as we can and talk about how amazing our live music scene is. The artistry, the musicianship, the creative class that we've got in the QC, I would put it up against anybody on a national stage. And, but we gotta talk about it more. We have to invest in it more. It's gotta be part of just the, the cultural fabric of, of our community because it's so important because it not only touches everyone's lives, but it's just a huge part of economic development and quality of life and quality of place.